They look alike. They sound alike. Please ask me anything. And they even got pretty similar pins. But which one is better? Today, 8-Bit and RT will be facing off in 11 challenges covering different skills and abilities to see which one could possibly stand a better chance in the battlefield. Starting off, we have the projectile speed test, where it looks as though RT is a bit faster, but when you slow it down, you'll notice that they make contact on the exact same frame, meaning we already have a tie. Moving along, we have what I call the Settle the Rivalries contest, which is kind of like a 3v3, except we all disconnected so our bots did the match for us, kind of eliminating the skill factor. You'll notice that the RTs kind of just rush in and get destroyed by the 8-bits who were super eager to toss their supers. Ultimately, round 2 has a super similar turnout with the RTs being aggressive, and that leads to an 8-bit win. The next challenge we have is the 3 ammo damage test. RT is able to use his second form and mark the target prior to attacking, and he's able to deal a total of 15,390 damage. 8-bit, on the other hand, is able to use extra credits as well as boosted booster to dish out a total of 38,880 damage, taking an easy win on this one. Moving on to what is perhaps my favorite challenge today is the L Mortis one. This event will be a simple timed takedown challenge to show how effective each of the two can be when dealing with a large group. When he uses his splash damage, RT is able to have a very fast takedown. 8-Bit, on the other hand, is able to line up his targets and take them down pretty fast, but still not nearly as quickly as RT. I call the next test the Assisted Takedown Challenge, where they both use one of their abilities to increase the damage of a multi-shot attack and a single shot attack. 8-Bit's damage booster is luckily able to benefit every single shot that hits the frank, allowing his allies to do a total of 8,280 damage. However, when it comes to RT, his shot benefits Piper's attack just fine, but for Colt, it only benefits the first shot allowing for a total of 7,620 damage. Next up we have the timed safe takedown test. Even though RT is able to split into his second form, he's not able to mark the safe, which drastically increases the time it takes for him to take it down. But 8-bit seems almost destined for single targets as he's able to drop down damage boosters and they're all able to use the same gadget, destroying it in a very short amount of time, giving 8-bit the win. Our next challenge is a 1v1 as bots and bounty. You'll notice that they both play oddly aggressive and 8-bit always throws a super towards the RT, but RT doesn't seem to use a super at all. RT takes the lead for the most of the match and then all of a sudden with 12 seconds left, 8-bit takes over and then he takes RT down again, winning 7-4. Next we have a big bot takedown test where RT is able to stand on the healing pad and take them down forever. As for 8-Bit, he's able to take care of the first big robo, but he also loses a super. Once the second one rolls around, he does get defeated, leaving RT to win this challenge. Next up we have the durability test, where each of the two competitors see how many robot attacks they can take on before being defeated. RT is able to stand behind his base for the first few attacks, and then take some punches himself, being able to survive 25 punches before being defeated. As for 8-Bit, he's able to drop his damage booster in front of him to take a few punches, but it still only takes 19 to take him down. Next up we have the speed test where teleporting is not permitted. RT is able to use his second form to fly across the map and make it in just under 6 seconds. 8-Bit is able to use plugged in for a decent speed boost, but still takes slightly over 7 seconds to cross the map, giving RT a point for that one. Our final test will be the supercharge contest. Each of the two brawlers will see how fast they can use three supers. Starting off with RT, you'll notice that his very slow reload speed inhibits him a lot because he needs to get four attacks per super, ultimately giving him a very slow rate. 8 bit, however, takes a lot less per super and he's able to do it overall in a very short amount of time, giving him a point for the supercharge test. After playing those 11 challenges, 8-Bit will take the lead with a 6-4-1 record. Granted, they both have their different specialties, but today, 8-Bit is our winner. Anyways, that is all I have for today. Thank you very much for sticking to the end, and I will see you later. Peace out.